My name is Yusra Bashir Elmi. As I am the chairperson of today's debate, I will debate is should examination be abolished from schools. Proposers are agreeing the motion while opposers are disagreeing the motion. Dear Chairperson, the Secretary, Timekeeper, Defense Secretaries, teachers around, especially the Chief Church, students who are present here, two competing sides. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As you already have seen on the report, our motion today concentrates on should we, should examines be abolished from schools? For the first instance, let me explain the motion as you see it from here. Uh, as, you are, as you are seeing from the board, should examinations be abolished from schools? I would like to explain the motion, but not the keywords. The motion is, should we get rid of exams from school, or should we remove traditional exams from schools, the way you understand? As the first proposer, I'm supporting the motion, which is in, in question form, should examinations be abolished from schools? I'm saying yes and yes and yes with the following points. My first point, limited assessments. Exams mainly focus on a memorization, neglecting critical thinking and creativity. You may ask yourselves how and what do I mean? I mean like royal Muslim managers normally call the students who are top three scorers in every class in front of and learners in after every exam tests, calling them and appreciating. For what reason? Because they have scored the most marks, like they have scored the highest marks. What about those who did not score? What if, let's imagine, a class consists of 28 learners, three only became Mr. Uh, Mr. Gaite or either Mr. Yusuf called three of them. What about the 25 students who are left there? Do they, do they have rights? What about when they go back home? Will, won't that, the parents ask, why, why, why weren't you called in front of the students? He must feel ashamed and start now memorizing what the teacher has given, which is not good to students. We need to be creative, but not memorizing everything. Thank you, J. Basson, General Secretary, Chief Judge, Leading Judge, and well, you, the audience. I am here to oppose the motion which is already stated on the whiteboard. Should examination be abolished from school? As I am opposing, I will say no. Before I go far, let me explain to you the keywords. Abolish is to end an activity or custom officially. Examination is the act process of examining. My, my first point, confidence. Examines are a crucial component of a student's academic journey. It helps students to evaluate their, their knowledge. Examines are not, on, are not only test the knowledge and understanding of the subject, but also help the students to identify their, strong, their strongness and weakness of subjects through exams. The students can understand the concept more deeply and get better understanding of, subjects, of subject matter. As the chairperson, I would like to supplement something on the points I read because of time I, I left here at this stage. I would like to say this. Let me take an example of the chief judge of today's debate, Mr. Lambert Amai. I, I hope so. Uh, it was a day I scored 60% in a subject. He found me in my class and then told me I need to put much emphasis on the subjects which I scored less marks. You know the reason why? Because he wanted me to score higher marks. What if I score higher marks, will I get good jobs? So if I get good jobs, will they treat my stress or depression? There's no way that they can treat. So I wanted to live in a better life, but he made me to put much pressure or boost my effort towards that subject, and now I start scoring 90. Now I score 80% in mathematics. Still, I'm the same person, but I just still have stress because I woke up that night very early, and then I spent instead of sleeping. So now it's the, it's the, it's the person who is suffering me or the teacher who told me. The same applied, the managers of Royal Muslim told me the same way. My parents told me that you are the boy whom we are looking for or going to make us rich in future. So I make you in, uh, rich in the future and get stress and depression. There's no way I can get. I need to live life. I need to live longer. Thank you so much. Chairperson, Secretary Tamkiba, bless you the audience. I am here to, to agree the motion which is already stated on the whiteboard. The motion of today's debate is, 
should examination be abolished from schools? My first point, examination causes students to head the schools which, which can cause them school drop out. My second point, source of stress, how? Because students can lack sleep and worry every time before the exam and during the exam, and which can make them sad and angry. My second point, it causes discouragement, how? Because like uh, one person, one student can get bus soon and another one can get bus soon last. And the first boss said, said that I'm, I'm better than you, for you, you cannot do like this, like that. And that can cause discouragement or fight. That, thank you, the chair person. Chair person, timekeeper, chief judge, two competing sides, bless you, the audience. I'm here to oppose the motion which is already stated on the whiteboard. Shall examinations be abolished from school? My first point, assessment of knowledge. First thing is first. Example, Exams play an important role in assessing the knowledge and understanding of students aimed with exam results. Teachers can identify areas for improvement in students and provide the necessary assistance. My last point, healthy competition. Taken, taken in the right spirit exams also help faster, faster health competition. In turn, it helps children put their best food forward. In fact, beyond the school exams, a whole lot of competitive exams also determine the course of students' careers. They can therefore instill a health sense of striving for one's best. Thank you, the chair boss. Thank you, Chief Person, Secretary, Chief Tamkiba, Chief Judge, bless you, the audience. I am here to propose the motion which is clearly stated on the whiteboard. Should examination be abolished in schools? I say yes, strongly yes. My first point, stress and anxiety. Examinations can cause stress and anxiety among students. I would like to inform the, hat, the house at large, the main speakers and other people around that. In, in school, in examination, we can't get stress in a such a way that we, can get, we can't get stress. If we say we don't uh, do examinations, we can't learn anything. A learner will not read anything. He will, like, you give some work now for like one month, like for one week, the, that child will forget that work. So we have to do examination. And also, these teachers you are seeing, they, they learned and did examination like us, but they, they have no stress. You see, they are happy always, they are in a good life. They didn't get any stress, so we can't get the stress in a such a manner away. Thank you. The chairperson, our, some of us think that some human beings have got strong hearts like them. They are not the same. As I, I, I earlier said, that God created people differently. Teachers, now we are seeing that one of the current speakers has taken an example how can you know their hearts? How many times they failed? How many times they tried? Do you know the challenges they faced? I hope boys do understand. Should we should we stop examinations from school? If you agree with me, you can hand clap. Thank you so much. Thank you, Honolulu, and the chairperson. So here you are saying we don't have the same abilities and we don't have the same hearts. So you are thinking that now you are here for more than some five years, four years. Have you got stress? No, of course, you are here. No, of course, you are here. You are not stressed. So, have we got stressed? No, also. Have these teachers got stressed? No, also. So, where do we get stress? Through learning? No. Thank you. The chairperson, although we are, not answering, we are not asking questions and are not answering questions, Honorable Aria, do you know what I feel? Definitely don't know. Right now, yesterday I did a test. You know how much I worried? Last night I woke up at three, memorizing the things the teacher gave me. So you don't know what we are suffering from. Like for us as human beings, you may look how we look like. We smile during the day because we can't cry in front of people. So we have to show our strengths, our people, not our weakness. Because people will use your weakness to kill you. We are not happy at all examinations to be continued in schools. Thank you so much. Thank you, the chairperson. I would like to tell her by Aria that, as she said, we should do exam. The kid will not memorize anything if we are going to do the exam after a week. 
you are, you are giving that kid a pressure, and then that pressure may lead to stress. So examinations bring stress. Thank you, Chairperson. Like I read, why, why, why do you read for examination? If there's no examination, will you have read? No. So please. I, I really support that examination are very crucial and fundamental to the life of every human being in this world. Thank you, Chairperson, and all you in this Chairperson, exams do motivate people or children or learners because if you fail the first exam, you can prepare your mind or your body to the next exam. Thank you. Hey, Madam and Chair. I would like to ask these questions to the opposite side. The first question, how do you ensure that exams are fair and unbiased, particularly for students from diverse background or with different learning styles? Thank you, DJ Basu. I would like to answer all questions that this side asked. My first question, how do pupils understand an examination? How? How do I try an examination when I already failed? That that that, that means that you, you you have not you have not failed because examination helps us revising the work we had did because examination are the key to creating more sympathy for the subjects people learn.